I have chosen the Active Ageing Australian website for this assignment. AAA, as it's known, is a website that promotes an active lifestyle for all Australians, enhancing a lifetime of health and well-being. The key message to all Australians is it does not matter how old you are or what physical restriction you may have, there is an appropriate exercise for you. The website is aimed at individuals and organisations whose main role is to encourage and teach modified exercise or active-based activities for older people. It is well documented and research has proven that engaging in some form of exercise 30 minutes per day improves your health and well-being and reduces the risk of acquiring a chronic chronic disease such as coronary artery disease, diabetes and depression. It also reduces your risk of falls by improving your health and strength and balance. Remember the saying, use it or lose it. The Australian Medical Association reports in 2014 that our population is ageing. In other words, we are living longer and there is an increasing number of people who are living to be over 65 or 85. Our modern environment encourages a sedentary lifestyle. We have live in the automated era and the good news is that our levels of activity have increased over the last 12 months but the participation rate declines with age. The AAA site mainly offers training courses for leaders who are employed or act in a voluntary manner such as aged care residential workers or community programs. The modified exercises are easy moves for active ageing, training for leaders to conduct safe exercise programs for less active, supporting and improving older people's lives and reducing falls. The course comes in the startup, refresher and advanced levels. They also offer Tai Chi chair, Tai Chi dementia and Tai Chi ball. Gentle moves and no falls. These exercise, exercises are all modified to suit people of all ages with reduced range of motion and limited energy levels. Their web website also offers the latest news and research released, other events or happenings such as the cultural and ling linguistic diverse luncheon that is of interest to its members. The site also offers a number of resources such as DVDs for people to exercise in their own home, music, CDs for exercise and relaxation and a home exercise book where you can record your daily exercises and keep track of your progress. AAA is also involved in a number of projects. AAA Net which offers individuals and organisations a site where they can share information, network and chat. Falls South Australia website which offers health professionals such as GPs and nurses plus aged care workers a one-stop shop for inf information and fact sheets regarding falls prevention. Currently there is the 5 to 10 program which is run in conjunction with South Australian Office of Sport and Recreation where older Australians can learn a new sport which has been modified encouraging the thought that you are never too old to learn. They offer five sessions per week for $10. The sports on offer are rusty tennis, croquet, indoor rowing, dragon boating, fit for life, 
fencing with others coming. The modified exercises are easy moves for active ageing, training for leaders to conduct safe exercise programs for less active, supporting and improving older people's lives. AAA is also assisting with research into the Home Monitoring Project to assess its efficiency. AAA has a clear goal which is to encourage all Australians to remain physically active during the entirety of their lives, increasing their health and well-being using advocacy, leadership, information, network, training and support for organisations, individuals and communities who are also trying to achieve these goals. The key stakeholders in AAA aim at is organisations such as aged care facilities, community-based programs and their employees, GPs and nurses, and any individuals that have clients in the older age bracket. Whereas no specific age is stated, it appears that over 65 is the norm. The website not, does not discuss or display any measures they have in place to be used for evaluation purposes. In their privacy statement, they state that the information is non-identifiable for individuals, is collected regarding which resources are viewed and most and when. This helps them improve the site. Current trends in research support the activities of the site promoting empowerment and active lifestyle for older people. They have over 400 members and raise funds from the training programs and sale of resources. These funds and some funding support currently make the AAA website viable. The website is user friendly and easy to navigate, with useful links available. I feel that there are two problems with the site. Firstly, there is no assistance or alternatives for people with culturally diverse or non English speaking backgrounds, and secondly, the cost of the membership and internet access may be a deterrent for some. Whereas the website offers training and events for people in the Adelaide area only, their resources and information can be accessed by everyone, anywhere, and you do not need to be a member. I think this website and concept would be valuable to any area, but it is better suited to larger regional areas and it is, would not be viable in a small rural area.